Hey, how's it going? Just curious. What attribute of a smartphone do you think is the most important? You know, some people, it's how fast it is. Some people, it's the appearance of it. Some people, it's how durable it is. Uh, some people, it's the, uh, you know, how high of resolution is it able to show? Some people, it's the, what's the quality of the audio that, you know, just in the speakers that it has? Does it get distorted really easy? Some people, it's the cameras. Um, and, you know, there's all these different attributes that you could probably put into a list. Um, but... Do you actually find, do some of you find the appearance of the phone to be the most important? And if you do, do you put a case on your phone um, and then cover up what it looks like anyway? And if so, then how is, as I said, if so, then how is the appearance the most important thing about the phone? Why does it matter if you... I mean, it's like putting a... Uh, um, oh, look at this beautiful interior to this brand new car. Here, let's put seat covers on it. <laughs> you know, I just... You know, so if it's... If the argument is appearance, but you put a cover on it, then the argument doesn't make sense. Um, to, to me, though, the, the, the whole reason for, for making this... But I also wanted to ask some questions, just to see where people's minds are at on this. I don't understand why there aren't more smartphones that are designed around being more durable. There's this rubbery material. Uh, I don't know whether it's technically a, a rubber or whether it's a type of plastic, but it always has a matte finish. It's got some bounce to it. Um, and you find it in a number of things that are meant to be really durable because they are really durable. And there's also things, there's like a silicone that you could put like on the outside of it. Um, but materials that if you try to scratch up, I mean, it's just going to, the, the, the bounciness of it is going to absorb the scratch. And the bounciness of, it, bounciness of it is going to help uh, keep the phone from being damaged. And, uh, you know, they could make phones out of something like that on the, on the outside. And then maybe, you know, inside of that you have maybe some other, another material to, uh, to even further protect, in, in a hard way, uh, the electronics that are inside. Something that you never would have to get a case for. I mean, if they want to get stylish with it, there is a type of lighting, OLED lighting, that is starting to pick up steam. We're probably going to see a lot of fixtures come out in the future like some of these and I mean it can be this really thin you know practically paper thin uh, uh, layer and feasibly these phones could have some designs that um, let's say uh, let's think of Tron let's think of this sort of thing if they're using this semi-transparent uh, rubbery material or even it might some of it might be silicone and then behind it is black um, or a lot of it is mostly opaque but a hint of transparency um, black but then behind that is totally black as well you could have these designs put into the phone that look like uh, something from Tron and the areas that light up could be, you know, OLED technology, and it wouldn't take up very much power. So you could have a case that's literally glowing, and you could have it cycle through colors, you could have it, you know, any th sort of thing like that, and yet it's durable, and the screen is durable, and all of that sort of thing. I mean, I, I, I don't understand why these, these companies are focusing so much on, oh, look at the beauty of the... And let me, everyone's just going to cover it up with a case anyway, or most people are. Unless you've got a lot of money and you can oh, I dropped the phone. Well, I'll just pick up another one. Here we go. Here, transfer my stuff over, will you? You know, I mean, if, if someone's, you know, has that much money, then 
And maybe that's a feasible answer, but I don't think most people have that much money lying around, you know? Um, and then... The plastic screens. What is it? The, the Droid Turbo 2? Is that what it is? Do I have that right? There's the... there's. There's a droid phone out there that they used plastic instead of glass. And people say, well, you know, it, it, it could scratch easier. I'm like, well, scratching isn't normally the problem on these, these, uh, on these screens. It's the fact that they shatter, they crack so easily. Oops, I dropped it uh, one foot, it's done. I mean, you can still use it. Sometimes you'll have to put a, uh, another layer over it if you don't if it's bad enough and, and you don't want to get your fingers cut using it um but then you have to be careful if you ever remove that protective coating because well it could be quite problematic um but i mean people are worried about the the little bit that that some a screen might get scratched you're not going to notice that scratch as much as you would i mean anything that's going to flat out scratch the plastic screen is going to probably break the glass screen. Oh, but look, Gorilla Glass uh, version 257. Look, look, it's even stronger. No, it's still glass. It still shatters. It, you're not, you're not gonna. Well, you know, and then I see. Oh, it, it can, it can go. Uh, uh, it can fall from a meter higher than uh, than previous. It's like, well, yeah, that's an improvement. But depending on how something gets dropped, I mean, if, if someone's running and the phone falls out of their pocket, you know, that's still going to be toast just because of the way it, it's flying. It's, you know, so, you know, I, why make them out of the glass? Well, I, I think some of it is because, well, they know there's a nice market for this. It's a great market. You know, look at all these look at all these cases people buy, and look at all these things people buy to protect the screens, and look at all the the jobs that are created out of, um, out of uh, look we can replace your screen, look at all these jobs that it created. Look, job creators. <laughs> you know, Windows 10 to some degree has cut down on uh, the amount of of software computer repair jobs necessary. This whole thing kind of goes into all of our, every area of, of the market on in, in the United States. Look at the pharmaceutical industry. They do the same thing. But then you can have, um, you know, the opposite problem, like what happens in a lot of open source software where, you know, the attitude is always, well, if it isn't broke, don't fix it. Well, I mean, it could, there could be some functions in a program that you have to, you know, open up this little uh, prompt within the program and type a command. And then that closes and then you can do other things. It's, it, it's like, it could be that extreme. And if anyone complains about it, they'll say, well, you know, program it yourself. Or, uh, hey, if, it, if it's not broken, don't fix it. And so it's like a mishmash. This is what always happens with these programs, with open source programs. It's this mishmash of the way, where things are placed and how things work to the way we used to do things with new options put on top of that. But all these other things are exactly the same as they always have been. Those things aren't improved upon because, well, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And, you know, that sort of philosophy could be carried out uh, in the smartphone industry. Um, and in some ways, I think Apple's been doing that. Their only innovations are ways, it, they're not actual innovations. <laughs> but then you've got Samsung, and they've got these phones that are catching fire because of the way the batteries are. If they weren't so worried about fitting such a small form factor, they could probably have batteries in them that both lasted longer and weren't as dangerous. And if they made phones that you didn't, if if you didn't have to worry about them breaking, I mean, you could just throw them, you know, and these are these, these durable things, and it's completely possible. Completely possible. Um, 
and in those kind of cases with that rubbery material too, there's there's um there are easy ways to make that so all the ports are completely waterproof. And you know, if they made these phones thicker like that, that are already like you have a case on them, they could do they could put more things into the phone that would make it cool. But they're so focusing so much on the thin the thinness of the phone. And for instance, they could have a really good camera. One that actually has a decent sized CMOS in it. Take some truly professional looking photos. Um I mean, yeah, some a, a lot of photography is is the eye that you have to be able to take the picture and framing it and all you know that's a big part of it. I mean, just like um I mean, I remember back when I when I was doing hair for so long. Um you can take cheap products and get great results and you can you can take great products and get crappy results if you don't know what you're doing so <clears throat> it's like the cooks that can come up with something that's tasty when they hardly have any ingredients left well we got to figure out something to make so let's try to throw together something with what we've got now you, you can watch this shit on cooking shows a lot too some of these competition cooking shows <laughs> but uh are that many people that concerned with having some thin looking look at look at my uh, uh, uh okay a fancy car is a there's this word this phrase what is the phrase it's leaving my mind i don't know where what the phrase is it's a uh it's a status symbol <laughs> status symbol. Yeah, so so every time you see something up, you think status symbol, right? <laughs> um. But yeah, are phones really like a status symbol for people, or do you do you want us do you want this smartphone to be functional and fast, and you want a decent resolution and you want a decent camera? You want all the standard things that are on a smartphone to be of really good quality, and you want it to be durable, and you want it to last. What what do you really want in a phone? If it is the appearance thing, can you explain? Can you explain? Just, I mean, especially if you're not very wealthy, can you explain that? I'm curious because I don't understand. 